Let's give this another try. Vases are in Goa again and if you've been watching this channel a while and if you've seen my previous Goa vacation vlogs you'll know that we as a family try to take this relaxed holiday to Goa at least once a year and that's something we've managed to keep up uh, since the last two years also last year and the year before that we came to Goa later in the year this year I kind of wanted to celebrate my birthday somewhere other than home that's my little tradition so we left in late March and today is actually the 1st of April. It's not our first day here in Goa, it's actually our third day. The reason that I'm starting the vlog today is a bit of a long story. I will not go into detail and bore you guys with it but if you guys want the juicy gossip, I'll leave a little summary of why this vlog started late in the description bar below this video so you guys can read that if you want to but basically we were off to a slightly rough start and we we did have some problems in the resort but they've made good and they've actually like tried their best to make us more comfortable here and we just got upgraded to this really nice room so i thought i should like start the vlog on a fresh and happy note the villa where we're staying right now is really really nice it's a two bedroom duplex kind of setup so i'll just take you guys for the customary little room tour let's start with the outside of the villa it's got this beautiful portuguese a blue painted tile with afonso de albuquerque on it i guess he was one of the portuguese colonizers and each villa has like a different one of these painted tile thingies yeah let's Go in now. Hi, Mama. So, we're going to go into the first bedroom. Downstairs. Hi, Dada. <laughs> here's the bedroom portion, and then here's the bathroom. Here's the living room come dining room. It's quite roomy and beautiful. The kitchen's in the corner with a lot of nice amenities and the TV and home theatre system. Let's go to balcony number one. It's a beautiful little balcony where you can have chai, breakfast, read a book. The weather is kind of warm but it's still really nice. And the view is lovely as well. The issue that we had with our previous room was that it was a little too close to the pool. It got really noisy in the evenings when they had karaoke and other activities. So I really appreciate that they stuck us at the back of the resort where nothing much is happening. And you can actually bird watch here. There's so much of greenery and it's really beautiful, nice vibes. And this is the final little piece of the room which is the beautiful master bedroom it has ensuite bathroom here and here is the toilet and finally this is another smaller balcony that just connects to the master bedroom so at this point, I just want to give a really big shout out to my parents because not only do I get to stay at really nice resorts like this, 
because of them. But they actually gave me the bedroom upstairs which is much bigger and brighter and nicer. That was very sweet. Or maybe they didn't give it to me. Maybe, maybe I asked them for it. And maybe I was really convincing. Or maybe they just felt sorry for me and they really like to spoil me. But yeah, we had some minor hiccups in the beginning. But I think it's going to be a really nice rest of the trip. Now that we've finally set it in, we've packed our little bags and we're heading to Margao which is the closest city where the market is. So we're going to basically shop for a lot of things to eat both for our remaining days while we're here and stuff to take home to Bombay of course. I can still see you all curled up in the sunbeam Poking around at all my keys and guitars You've been cooped up inside this Tiny little apartment, perking up at all the passing cars. Never wanna to me or anybody. Jenny said she found you. Good morning. Company language is good. Zante's is like the only brand name that we buy cashew nuts from in Goa. It's just brand loyalty on my mom's part. Right now we've come to this store called Borkars which my mom remembers coming to ever since she was much younger than me with her grand aunt. Uh, so he just talks local stuff as well as imported stuff. And uh, my mom is buying traditional Goan pickles from him. She's emptying out his stock. <laughs> come into the shop joy set near Gandhi market and they're always completely sold out of their food so I'm so happy we just got like their last remaining food today <laughs> so the weather is really hot now in Goa and it's the perfect weather for limbu soda which is basically lime juice mixed with carbonated water with some added salt and sugar so it takes care of your hydration you get the missing sugar you get the missing salt and electrolytes and it's just it's very nice there are many stalls all over marga so if you ever see like those cold drink bottles just go and get a limbu soda i've been drinking it since i was a little kid now i'm just waiting outside because my mom has gone in to buy meat you get really good fresh cuts of meat here but I am a little bit of a hypocrite I don't like to see the raw meat too much but I enjoy eating the finished product so I'm just waiting for her Thank you. 
What's that we just heard on the tree, mum? A cuckoo. Cooing very loudly. Where is it? Is it on a tree? One has flown away and one is still there on the tree. Maybe it will fly, maybe it will not. It's on the tree, I can there see. There might be a nest, there might be babies. Cuckoos never build a nest. They lay the eggs in a crow's nest. I think that's just an old wife's tale. No, no, that's the truth. Okay. They are lazy birds. You are just resisting the urge to say like you, aren't you? You said it with your eyes. The evil mama, evil. Ago ka ishara. We opted to go out a little past 3 p.m. so that we could kind of beat the heavy crowds because the bus does get crowded as people get off work. And we did deal with slightly uh, hotter sun, but it was still like the perfect shopping trip where we sort of got everything that we wanted like bread, cashew nuts, meat, a little bit of veggies and now we can start cooking in here for real which would be great. We spent some time enjoying the lovely sunset and watching the birds and all of that and now I'm just going to wind down, have some tea and probably work a little bit on my computer. I think we'll be heading out tomorrow morning as well. Uh, we'll probably be going to Marga only, but it'll be a different side of Marga. I'm just a bunch of atoms. I've got my pros and cons. I keep to myself mostly. Just me and my electrons. I'm just a lonely cat. Doing my lonely thing. Outside my orbital ring. Here I stand in early valley. Settling down for some snacks, everything that we pretty much picked in the market like chicken and beef munchies and I'm also having some tea. This is not my regular chai but this is some fancy German fruity winter tea that Kritika, a girl I met like through YouTube, now a friend, she gave to me when I met her in Delhi like some time ago. That's what mum and I are having right now. <laughs> 